start with you. Uh, perhaps you could uh, give us a little bit of an insight as to when you first connected with the sentiment of John Lennon's song, Imagine. Um, until I was asked to do this, I think, I hadn't really thought much about it in terms of sentiment. Um, I thought it was one of those nice songs we play when we go on a trip to the country and drive our daughters crazy by playing, playing old school Beatles and Rolling Stones and Led Zeppelin and things. And uh, I didn't really listen. I suppose John Lennon I've always seen as a natural subversive, somebody who always challenged anything that he saw as establishment. Wasn't there that famous remark when they were playing for the Queen where he said, those of you in the... Um, circle rattle your jewellery, he asked the audience to clap, those of you in the circle rattle your jewellery. So he's always been someone who attacked what the powers that be and I guess I love that. I'd like to say I identify with it but I think that would be presumptuous. Mm -hmm. Simon, had, what resonates with you with this song, possibly the lyrics and sentiment? Well, I've, I'm one of those people who've stood on the spot where John Lennon was assassinated oh. and taken a photo. It's a bit macabre but uh, I have done that. Um, I actually like the sentiment of the song. Uh, I appreciate what it's, it's about. It really seems to me that the song is imagining a world where there's peace and there's unity and uh, we've rid the world of a lot of the things that all of us would rather be without. So I, you know, I'm all with the song. It's a dream. It's idealistic. Uh, we need to dream. I guess we want to have some foundation for the dreams as well. Mm -hmm. And Anthony, when did you connect with it? What resonates for you? I think um in some ways, I think one of the messages I like about the song where he talks about sort of no borders, and I think I can't remember the exact line, maybe it actually is that exact line where he says, you know, a stateless world in a way. And I think if you spend any time in the Middle East as I do, the idea of how those borders were, were drawn by the British essentially um, after the First World War, it's been a catastrophic disaster ever since in a variety of different ways. So to imagine a situation where there are less borders or nicer borders or somehow less violent borders would be good. Hard to imagine right now, but yeah, so I have thought about it often. Mm -hmm. Now looking at today's particular topic, imagine no religion, would we be better off? Just in a minute or so, Jane, um, what do you think religion is? How do you define it? Uh, I see a strong difference between personal faith and religion. Uh, to me, personal faith is an individual's own business and, you know, entirely up to them. That's about freedom and liberty to see the world in your own point of view. Organised religion, uh, I see as a completely different thing, um, and I see it as part of the privileged and the powerful. Anthony, how would you define religion? Um, well, I call myself a Jewish atheist, and what that means, I suppose, just to give a brief explanation, is that I'm born Jewish and I'm proud to be Jewish culturally, uh, but I have no religious affiliation anymore. Years ago, I used to go to synagogue with my parents because I had no choice. Um, and that's changed, but I think for me what religion can mean is a spiritual belief in something or an assistance in helping at moments maybe of success, crisis, etc. I don't feel that I, I want or need a higher being, spiritual being, something to assist in that, um, but I don't disparage people who do unless, unless there is an attempt to impose that on other people, which I would argue far too often Less so in the Western countries, but certainly it happens here too. But in much, much of the world there is an attempt, and I use an extreme example of somewhere like Africa, where there are attempts by certain religious groups to outlaw homosexuality to the point of execution. That's obviously an extreme example, but that is far less fringe than I think many of us would like to acknowledge. Mm. So both of you are expressing that personal faith is one thing, but when it comes into the public forum, that's when we can have some challenging situations work through. Simon, um, how would you just briefly define religion? Defining religion is notoriously difficult. Uh, my friend who works at Macquarie University and teaches world religions tells me that academics have more or less settled on, uh, agreed on a definition which is religion is what it is. So religion is uh, Hinduism, Buddhism, uh, Judaism, Christianity and Islam and anything that looks like that. And so that's a, I think that's a reasonable definition. Uh, obviously most people would be thinking of uh, a, uh, an attempt to find meaning, find meaning in life through a system of belief, usually to do with the supernatural, uh, not, not exclusively. Uh, and it creates normally a, a whole lot of doctrines, uh, a system of practices and ethics uh, within which you can live your life and find meaning in that.